played outside of Addis for the very, very first time. Uh, blows the whistle now. Oh, well, he decoys everything else. He takes a pause here on the right side of the goalkeeper. So we also get thrown off balance here, thinking Eterna Kebele is going to be the one taking it. They've recovered to pick up the loose ball. Now it's coming out. This is going to happen a lot in this game. Lifts it to the corner. Ebel Mabo. That's a well taken shot. And I very well carved into the area. It takes the post and it's in the net. Well, it's been, it's been scored by Ashana Otamene. The goalkeeper, of course, is flat footed. He's wondering why. Ashana Otamene rises above everybody else to first. At the. At the uh, Ketema are here. Uh, this is going to be the late kickoff in uh, another game in the Ethiopian Premier League. There's a very fast run down on the right side for the shot that is blocked off by Sinho Mensa. A good shot coming off the right side. So it's going to be competitive, no doubt about that. It's just a question of the fatigue levels and injuries that we have to look out for. But in terms of uh, game, well, you can expect it to be as best as possible. I think the first casualties that we'll see is probably going to be the two men who play as goalkeepers. This one is in the net from Biruk Bayene. Finally, having been chained into a striker and checking that striking position, he's picked up a very loose ball and has hit it hard enough and put it in the net for his side. One nail for Awasa. It's a big run in the offing. Now looking for uh, the support that comes from uh, Guksa. On a very low cross with a chance. Oh, he's put it in the net. Uh, changing the score line here. It is uh, a goal in the 20th minute. And of course, a lot of people are wondering how that has come to be. But a man who's always coming in as a substitute, Indri Said, gets himself onto the ball now. Again, the same runs on the right side another 45 coming in the defenders have deflected it and that's why it's gone in and it has counted as well from Degu Debebe but the defenders help it into the net because they almost turn it in Sinho Mesa is complaining that the defensive formation is not right at this moment and is the one that has let them down Segebo to brings manage. in a cross uh, the header this one oh. just tipped over and this one I'm sure about, it's by, uh, uh, it's not by Chelda Dawish, this is Biyane. by Biruk Biyene. <laughs> Looking at uh, using the left side more than the other side. This takes a deflection, it goes into the net. Uh, it's a deflection that puts it in. Uh, and Awasa have pulled back the goal and are now level again. Uh, oh, it's going to be a game and a half here today. But there are many other men approaching. Biruk! Oh, he hits the post here. For the first time, he had committed himself to take it. A very good evening to you. Today is going to be Dira Dawakitema, who are at home playing against Volaita Dicha. A match that is expected to obviously live up to the billing. Nice little touch here. And popped into the net by Sinta Yahu Mangistu. He has... A those lovely little touches that make the biggest of differences in a game. And Mengistu gets himself onto the scoreline again after being provided for what he cannot really miss. A very enticing provision for him right in front of goal. But it is the calmness. is the calmness of Cherinet Guksa. He receives the ball right behind the two, two defenders. He leaves the ball over one of them and a good striker. Now Jebo has been gifted this ball easily. This time round tries to place it. Wasn't in a hurry. Had taken his time, calculated. Uh, now Jebo should have uh, put this in the net. There was that little hand of uh, the goalkeeper Ajay that he stages. They still have possession. They do it down side. Are they going to get into a position for a shot? Here is Buidid Busai. He's uh, put it in the net. Uh, this has already crossed the line. Uh. We were wondering why he was taking a lot of time before taking the shot, but ultimately we did Musa. Beats the goalkeeper and the defender as well. Who couldn't slide on time to remove it from the area. And Ajay does think that they could have done better than that. Uh, Bereket then uh, 
gets a better chance to try and remove it from the area. Now in that area, the ball moves a little bit slower, but when you get a chance for a shot, then you know the goalkeeper will not be very sure where it's going to and how fast it's traveling as well. And that's what Wolaita was chancing on. It's a good move. It's a good move collected by Cherine Gutsa playing on the left side. And he cuts one towards the inside on his stronger foot with a good technique and good power behind the ball. Uh, you must thank Treo Getahun. They bring it back again, Diren. Uh, this is close. It's almost just tipping on the, the, the track at Samuel's uh, short, I think. Well, I it's think a that very is tricky a one, yeah. Henoke Sayas. Like, uh, sorry, Henoke Sayas, yes. it looks like it was going to curve down, Gilbert. It's, it's dipping. Uh, I think the goalkeeper does very well just to ensure that they're close to him. But the, that ball was definitely head, heading towards that net. Oh, oh, takes the throw in and takes the shot as well. Uh, this is a handball and a penalty. That has been given to a lighter teacher. Uh, you'll be able to see it again here. The player goes to the ground, but with both hands touches the ball there. Score on the side as well. He's already scored one. He scores another one. Uh, doesn't let a shot in the direction that he has chosen and displaces the goalkeeper. Sinta Yehu. Oh. Oh. A lovely one from the midfield. From Berkett Wale. And they put the game away from uh, the Dinadawa side. Nicely built up by Sintaya Umekistu and uh, Panom Gatwach. At a 91st minute strike by Bereket Wall. Sidama are moving Mehari Mena in the left back position in very, very advanced position. Oh, oh. this one takes the crossbar from a very long distance, almost uh, in the halfway back, with the goalkeeper expecting it to go out of the field of play and just uh, casually touching on that crossbar. Awet Gabri Mikael is the man who. On the Dinadar side. And a penalty has been given here. The referee says. Uh, and Sandy Bituku is close by there. Does it go to his hand? Is a question that we will be asking ourselves. We got a close look at it as well. No, it doesn't no, touch his hand. No. He moves his hand behind. But he certainly does. Oh, he does then. From this angle, he does. And the only problem is it, he, he moves his hand. You know, yeah. as it touches him. Well, that's us trying to read what direction Musa might take it to. He puts it in the net uh, categorically and with a very hard shot, uh, not stopped at all by the goalkeeper. It counts as a goal uh, for the Dire Dawa side. And uh, did Musa scores his eighth goal. Uh, we haven't seen him on the score chart for a little longer. Goal. This one goes into the net. Uh, well, from quite a distance, the Dire Dawa side have a goal here that was quite unexpected well it came from Enoch Sayas a free kick that he takes from so far off nobody touches it the last person expected to touch it would have been the goalkeeper but the oh, referee obviously has to command obedience here in the field it's not even what they say it's a lemo Fitzum, he puts it in the net he roughly gets the shot that was taken on the other side by Enoch Sayas he takes his on his right foot and he beats Firel get out to it, levels the scores in the 46th minute of the game. You could call it 47th if you want, but Fitzum is back on this score chart. Is a chance here for Richmond Adongo. Now he gets a penalty. That's what Richmond Adongo wanted all the time. Even now, he doesn't struggle to go for a shot. And I think he stayed in the same position, you know, just in case there'll be any questions about it. He hasn't gotten up at all. Daniel Hailu and Sean Marid. And Marid has stopped it. Hailu takes the meekest of penalties uh, that goes directly into the hands of Sean Marid. He doesn't have to struggle at all. It doesn't go to the edges, either left or to the uh, right. It goes straight to him after that penalty had been given out. That's a. Nanjebo. Loves to employ the speed. Good turn on the left foot. And a chance for Muidin should go for a... He should have been going for a short as well, but he gets a penalty instead. Here it is again. Muidin goes for this ball. Does he have possession? Yeah, well... No, that's uh, a dive. That is a dive. There's no that. penalty there. That is a dive. As well. He simply smears himself on the defender. Here it is again. He has one touch on the ball. Here is uh, the opposite side of it. Well, it's a, it's a dive. The honest uh, truth is, uh, 
that uh, Temes Gendarese gets himself in front of uh, Wedin, but he doesn't tackle him down. Wedin and Dawa having a chance here. And it's in the net. Uh, Nuri sent on the other side. While the ball is put on his left side. Very well taken penalty by Daniel Hayelu. Totally impossible to save for Nuri. And that changes the scoreline at the Dirata International Stadium. With Kahir is Najebo. And with a good league like this, Najebo! Oh, he bangs onto the post. Uh, how unlucky can he be? After getting the better of the most difficult man to beat in today's game, who has been uh, Alex Amuzu, he gets the better of him, but it bangs the post. That's Surely this would have been a, this was a chance in a half. Good run, good 